Welcome to Designer Digital's Bi-Weekly Tip, November 22, 2013. This week, correcting color temp problems with the photo filter adjustment. When the color balance is off in your photos, you'll sometimes have a photo that's maybe too blue or too yellow. Scanned images of older photos from the 70s can have a red or an orange shift. Gym and bathroom photos are often yellow or orange and skin tones usually look more natural with just a little bit of warming. Photoshop and Elements have an easy, non-destructive way to correct the color problems in your photos. Here's how. Begin by opening your problem image in either Photoshop or Elements. Create a photo filter adjustment layer by clicking the Create a New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon in the Layers panel. This icon looks like a circle which is half black and half white and it can either be found at the top of the layers panel like it is here in Elements or it can be found at the bottom of the layers panel like it is here in Photoshop. From the drop down menu choose Photo Filter. This activates the Photo Filter dialog box which contains a number of presets. To use a preset Click on the drop down box and select a preset like warming or cooling or a color filter to fix the tint problem with your image. In this sample, the Beauty Queen looks a little bit green because there's a reflection coming off the trees. So to fix the image, I'm going to choose a red photo filter. Move the density slider to the left or the right to increase or decrease the intensity of your filter. If I move it all the way to the right, I'm going to become way too red and to the left gets you back to your original photo. So just slide over until you're happy with the way your photo filter is fixing your image. When you're satisfied with the color, you're going to want to do two things before you confirm the filter. First, click the layer visibility icon, which looks like a little eyeball at the bottom of the filter dialog. This will let you see the before and the after so that you can make sure that you're happy with the coloring. Second, clip the filter to your photo layer by clicking on the clipping icon at the bottom of the dialog. This looks like a little box with an arrow pointing downward. You'll want to do this to apply the filter to just your photo layer. If you don't click this, the filter will be applied to every layer that's below the photo in your project. Click the X or the double arrow at the top right of the Properties box to hide the filter dialog. Now here's the cool part. To make changes to your filter later, all you have to do is double click this camera icon in the adjustment layer to return to the filter dialog. And if you decide that you don't like the filter at all, you can just delete the adjustment layer by dragging it to the trash can at the top or the bottom of the layers panel. Using this method, your photo is never altered and you never have to undo subsequent work in order to change your tint again. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.